Hi, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click on a bell and switch on all notifications so you are notified when we are uploading new videos, which we are doing every day. Let's go ahead and create our order basket so that our user can add items to our order basket. So I'm going to my model drink command N and create another Swift file and call this order basket. And here I'm going to import Firebase and let's create a class and my class is going to be order basket and it's going to be conforming to the protocol identifiable which basically means that this uh, this object has a unique ID variable that it can be identified by this unique ID so we say uh, var ID is going to be a string then our order basket should have an owner ID so we can know which basket belongs to which user and this is a string as well and finally each basket is going to have an array of different items in our case it's going to be an array of drinks because this is what we are selling so we take the drinks and put inside our basket so I'm going to call these items and this is going to be an array of drinks object and we're going to initialize it by an empty array so at, at the beginning our order basket has empty drinks okay um, let's put some kind of functions here to help us work with our basket I'm going to create a variable called total and what this is going to do is simply calculate the total amount in our basket so how much is the total value our user has to pay so we say this is a double and we're going to say if items so we need to check how many items we have in our basket get the uh, each price and just add it so we say if uh, items dot count is greater than zero which in other words means if we have any items in our basket we are going to do the calculation else we are going to set the total price to zero so if we have items we're going to say return items dot and we're going to say reduce and we say zero here and then I'm going to say dollar sign zero plus dollar sign zero plus dollar sign one dot price so what this does is it actually takes the first item of our array and adds the price of the second item of our array and it just calculates the total price returns the total price of the items inside of our array so this will be our total variable and then I'm going to create another function call it add and let's put this item and it's going to be a drink so let's say we want to add something to our basket we can call this function to add something a drink to our basket and what it's going to do is to take the, vari uh, the variable items here which is drinks and append the new drink that we are passing to our function here so I will say items append item so it's going to be our drink item here and another thing function we can use handy here is func remove and again we are going to remove an item 
and it's going to be drink as well so in case our user in the basket decides that one of the drinks he doesn't want we can just delete it and it will be removed from our basket and to do that we're going to check uh, what is the index of that item in our uh, items array and just remove it so i'm going to say if let index is equals to items dot first index of item this is the drink we are passing so if um, this item is actually inside our array we're going to say items remove at and we pass the index here and here we have an error because I forget one exclamatory mark here inside uh, after my owner ID so we have a total variable we have a function to add something to our basket and we have a function to remove something from our basket now what we need is two more functions first is to empty our basket let's say we have placed our order and we want to empty our basket so we say func empty basket and this is going to do self items equals empty string and here we need to save these to our firebase so that uh, it's not only the local item uh, basket is emptied but also we save the state of our current basket to our database so say save to firebase and the second function is actually the saving function so we say save basket to firebase actually fire store this is the name of our firebase database okay um let's write the code for our save basket for this uh, lecture and then we're going to continue in our next lecture so basically we want to access our uh, firebase reference and now we want to access a folder called basket once we access it I'm going to create a document and my document is going to have a path which is basically the name of the document and I'm going to pass self.id so that the name of this document is going to be whatever ID our order basket has and then I'm going to create a document so we say set data and here we're passing a string value and in order to do that we need a function that takes our order basket item and converts it to a string value pairs so let's create this function after our uh, class so I'm going to say func basket from actually basket dictionary from and let's pass a basket and this is going to return a string as a key and any as the value and here now I can call my basket dictionary from basket and the basket is going to be self because whatever basket we have we want to save this so we are providing it to our uh, our function here and this is going to save our item to our firebase okay and, and the, the function here we are going to write in our next lecture